Driving innovation is a critical piece of the drug discovery model for any, obviously for any pharmaceutical company or, or biotech company. What does innovation really mean to you? Um, certainly, from our perspective, uh, one of the things that we always drive towards is areas that are uh, of significant unmet medical need that are unique and not crowded. So uh, I can go and try to discover the next antibiotic, but guess what? So does a lot of other companies doing the same thing. The number of acquisitions seen recently is a big issue shaping the pharma industry. But do you see this as a help or a hindrance in terms of innovation? I actually, it, it, one can look at it both ways, actually. But I, I mean, I, I prefer to be the optimist and say that it's actually not, not a bad trend. I don't think it necessarily will stifle uh, innovation. It may actually make it more efficient. And in the current realities of uh, price control of pharmaceuticals, that is a very good thing because that's one way to cope with that very quickly because, uh, as I mentioned, the pharmaceutical industry has been inefficient so far. And what strategies can smaller companies use to really compete against these, these sort of merged giants? The best way is innovation. I mean, there is no doubt now that it has been clear that the large pharma has not been able to, to drive innovation um, fast enough or wide enough as they used to be in the past. Each one of them were fully dependent on their own uh, organic growth for innovation. That is clear that they have failed miserably. On the other hand, the biotech has has shown categorically that um, it can uh, develop very fast and in a nimble way all the innovation. That's why they've been gobbled up by the big pharmaceutical companies, uh, whether it's the products or the companies as a whole. And as CEO and sort of figurehead, I guess, how do you drive and manage that innovation throughout the company? Um, the, the best way is to make sure that uh, the scientists have uh, freedom enough to uh, to develop the uh, the uh, the concepts and the ideas they have in their mind. If you have um, a very heavy structure and very heavy uh, committees and whatnot, then then you will stifle innovation, and and that's the one thing you want to avoid. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.